Hi and welcome to the John Risley Ocean Quick Start Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build an online booking website. To start with you'll need to visit your web hosting services control panel and open up phpMyAdmin. From there you'll need to create a new database. I'm using WAMP on my desktop PC so if you want to do that you can do that too. Here I'll create a new database called Quick Start. Now, as you can see, I have copied the Kickstart and the Ocean Quick Start JPA files to the directory I'm going to run this new website from. On a proper web server, you'll need to upload these two files, typically via FTP. OK, let's run the Quick Start. If you've seen Akiba's Quick Start before, you're probably already familiar with this. If you're not, then rest assured it's a lot simpler than it looks. Normally, the default settings are ideal, so we'll go ahead now and unpack the Quick Start. I've sped the video up a little bit here just to save time. OK, let's run the installer. On the database restoration page, we'll need to change the name of the database to the one we created earlier. I'll also create a new password for the admin user. It's recommended that once you've the system up and running, you should add a new administrator user and disable the Jumra root user that you're adding here. OK, the only thing I'm going to change here, of course, is uh, add the new password for the Jumra user. OK, finally we'll remove the installation directory and we're done. There you have it folks, your new booking website. Very easy to set up. Uh, let's just log in and have a play around, have a look around. OK, the first thing we need to do is go to List Properties and view our existing sample properties. All we'll do is we will choose the Faulty Towers property. Here we go. Set that to the current property. And then we'll look at its settings. This is the dashboard where you can see a, at a glance if there are any bookings. What we'll do now is we're going to have a look at the tariffs and currencies. And as you can see we already have a little sample data set up. This is the normal tariff editing mode. Here we can upload some images if we want. Which of course we want to. Everybody wants to upload images. And then we'll go back to the dashboard. Okay, that's it. Basic installation. All done and dusted.